Hi there, it's Miles from Light Harvest Solar. Uh, we are going to do a test between uh, what I think is the all-time best panel that we've had, the Solaria 400, that is no longer in production. It is going away. It's an awesome panel for a whole bunch of different reasons, but um, it's very expensive also. Luckily, uh, in this technology cycle, because it changes really often, of course, we have to stay on top of what is the best stuff. Uh, luckily, for van builders at least, um, the, it went our way this technology cycle which is this right here these are the 108 cell panels is what they're known as and they are real cool one of the nicest things about Solarius apart from their high performance and everything like that is that they were a very a really really good size for um, for sprinters and things you can get one of them up there easily uh, you can get two of them up there if you turn them sideways now uh, the last technology cycle before this one they got longer and skinnier which is not generally what we want because you can't turn them sideways without a bunch of overhang this these ones came back down uh, a little bit more square size so they're a little bit shorter they're a little bit wider uh, they may hang off of the transits a little bit uh, the pro masters probably not at all the sprinters just a titch maybe two inches on either side or an inch or something like that but um, the best thing about what's going on right now in the industry is these panels are coming way down in price. So now we've got 405 watt rated here, we've got a 400 rated. Uh, the Solarias were well known for um, over achieving and being more powerful than uh, sometimes the rated. I've seen them go up 50 watts over what they were rated under certain conditions when it's really cold, right? So this is the Sun Mac. We just got two of these in to replace these, 405 versus 400, and we're gonna do a versus. We're gonna see if the king of solar panels is to be dethroned or uh, not. So, um, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. They don't even make them anymore. We can't get them and they're very expensive. So we're taking a huge price cut and um, not that much wattage. Uh, the technology is a little bit different. You can see uh, the, one of the other things that was really good about the Solaris is that it shingled this way. So it had a lot of parallel strings. This one, not as many. So I don't expect this sh the partial shading to be as good, but still, uh, quite good. So let me uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna just kind of bounce back and forth. We've got two of our Aspen power senders here, so that we have um, we can uh, com you know they're the same thing, so they should be uh, accurate in terms of measuring the two next to each other. Um, and so we're gonna just kind of go back and forth, and I'll tell and, and bounce off and see what they're making. Uh, of course, they should be at the same angle. Also, might I add that we're in February, almost we're at the 30th of January. And you can see how steep of an angle I have these at. Uh, that does two things for you. If you're off grid, is, uh, the steeper angle optimizes it for the winter. You're gonna have short days and bad weather in the winter. So you want a real steep angle. That seems to be pointed at the sun right now. And you can see how steep that is. The other thing is it's gonna keep it lots cleaner. So if you're really off grid and you don't have any access to outside power to regulate you, much uh, optimized for the winter, in my opinion, is the way to go. And that means even as sharp a, a, a steep of an angle as that. So let me, uh, let, let's see what these things are doing and see who the winner is. All right, John, you want to go first? Sure, I'll kick it off. I got 347. 338. 336. 336. 341. 338. 347. Uh, 334. 346. 338. 336. 336. 345. Uh, three, 335. I feel like that, that's a pretty good amount of data that's points. That's pretty, yeah. So we, obviously it's bouncing around a little bit. That's all super, super normal. Uh, but we're, we're seeing basically the same thing. Minus Solaria, 35%. Yeah, I mean, it's a tiny difference, but I wouldn't worry about that. No. You know, given that you can't get these anymore, it gets moot. But. Well, not only that, but how expensive they are, too. Yeah, it's 200 like, bucks less. Two, 200 bucks less? Yeah. 205, technically. Yeah, so... Two, so quite a bit yeah. less 630 425 and you're probably going to get a little bit tiniest bit better performance out of that and probably 10 5 percent better shade resistance but other than that um, this is like i said what where we're going with the technology uh the very most efficient ones in this form factor are up to 430 watts um they're brand new these are the very first ones in this form factor and wattage that i could even get a hold of so we've got a few of these, but this is what's coming down the road for the you know, commercial panels, which is of course all we like. We don't like the 100 watt panels all strung together, or the twos or anything like that. This is what we go with. And um, 
and that's what you can expect to see is in the 380 to 430 watt uh, range for this form factor, which would fit great on one of these. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, yeah? All right, yeah. Miles and John, Light Harvest Solar. Good to see y'all.